While Microsoft is working on the next version of Windows, you can get your hands on the latest technical preview that's available to anyone. You can sign up for this program, download the latest test version and install it on your computer or in a virtual machine. Here's how to get Windows 10 and how to install it on your computer. In order to download Windows 10 Technical Preview, you must sign up for the Windows Insider program. You need to have a Microsoft account to do this. Go to the Windows Insider website and click or tap the Get Started button. Sign in with your Microsoft account. You are shown the participation agreement and the privacy statement. You need to accept them to finish your registration. Scroll down and accept the program agreement, select your areas of interest and press the submit button. After submitting, you will be officially enrolled in the Windows Insider program. But, before you download Windows 10, read the next section in this guide. The technical preview version is a test version. The Windows 10 operating system has many bugs unfinished features and other issues. We strongly recommend that you do not install this as your main operating system on your computer. Install it in a dual boot configuration, on a secondary PC or in a virtual machine. The best virtual machine applications that we have tested, which are capable of running Windows 10 are VMware Player, VMware Player Pro and VMware Workstation. VMware Player is the only free product in this list. Before you decide whether to install Windows 10 or not, be sure to read the FAQ section on the Windows Insider website, and review its system requirements. Windows 10 demands the following. Processor, 1 GHz, GHZ, or faster. RAM. 1 GB, GB 32-bit, or 2 GB, 64-bit. Free hard disk space, 16 GB. Graphics card, Microsoft Direct 9 graphics device with WDDM driver. A Microsoft account and Internet access. Basically, if your PC can run Windows 8.1, you're good to go. Also. Note down the product key that is mentioned on the download page. You may be asked to enter it, in order to validate your test version of Windows 10. After you have downloaded the ISO file, you should burn it onto a DVD or use the Windows USB slash DVD download tool to copy it onto a USB flash drive. You'll want to use this if your computer does not have an optical drive or you simply want the installation to go faster. If you are installing Windows 10 in a virtual machine, you don't need to burn the ISO or copy it, you'll just mount it before you start the virtual machine. Now it's time to turn on your virtual machine or boot your computer using the DVD or the USB flash drive that you created, with the Windows 10 setup. Once the necessary files are copied, the setup starts by asking what language, time, currency and keyboard input settings you want to use. Make the selections you prefer and click next. Click or tap install now to start the installation. As we mentioned earlier, you may be asked to enter product key for Windows 10. If that happens, enter it. If not, you'll be shown the license terms. Click or tap I accept the license terms and then next. You are now asked for the installation type. As you are installing Windows 10 from scratch, click or tap custom, 
Install Windows only, Advanced. Now you are asked to select where you want to install Windows. Select the partition that you want to use for Windows 10 and press Next. The installation starts. The setup takes a few minutes to copy all the required files and install the Windows 10 operating system. Once the installation is done, the setup program will automatically reboot your system several times, to run the first time configuration scripts. You just need to wait patiently for the process to finish. After the reboots are finished, you are greeted with a first time setup message where you can select whether you want to use the Windows 10 recommended settings or customize each setting individually. We prefer to customize everything, so let's press customize and review each setting together. You are asked to set the network type, private or public. If it's a private network, your PC will automatically find devices on your network and automatically connect to them. Press yes or no according to your preference. You are now able to set the default behavior of Windows Update and that of security features like Windows Smart Screen. Change the things you are interested in and click or tap Next. Then, you are asked about troubleshooting options and what you want to turn on. You can set whether you want to send different types of information to Microsoft, including your location data. Set things according to your preference and click Next. Now you are asked if you want to share information with Microsoft and several of their services. By default, these options are turned on and specify whether apps can use your name, account picture and if they are allowed to access your location. Set things according to your preference and click or tap Next. You are asked to sign in with your Microsoft account. Enter your credentials and click or tap Next. After entering your email and password, you are asked for a security code that can be sent to your phone number or email. You can also enter a code from an Authenticator app if you have configured one. Follow the instructions and click Next. Enter the code and click Next. You are asked if you want to import settings from another PC or start from scratch. Since you are testing Windows 10, it is best to set this up as a new PC. After choosing an option, press Next. Windows 10 takes a while to prepare your computer, your apps and all the settings. The process may also involve a restart. When done, you are logged into Windows 10 and you can view the desktop. Congratulations, you have installed Windows 10 Technical Preview. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our channel to get more interesting tutorial.